Hide from menus is an important uh, option. What it allows you to do is create lots of pages that are not found in the navigation structure. So in other words, they're not found here in the menu, but they're able to be linked to from other pages. So they're active live pages, but you don't necessarily want every single page found uh, in the menu. Uh, good examples of this would be landing pages, uh, where maybe you send uh, a customer, maybe it's a sales promotion or something to promote your services, and you send them specifically to a page on a specific topic, but you don't want everyone to see it in the menu. Portfolios, uh, there's lots of uses, case studies, uh, lots of uses for uh, these hidden pages. So it's very simple. Um, I'm on the events page. Uh, let's just say I want to hide it. I'm going to check hide from menus and hit save. When I do that and I refresh, you can see that it disappears. So that's basically how it works. You just simply hide it from the menus. I'm going to put this back and save it. And there it is. It's back again. So that's uh, an important, uh, important setting, and it's used quite a bit. The published uh, setting is very important as well. When a page is published, it means it's live on the site. It's accessible for everyone to see, whether it's hidden or not. If a page is unpublished, it means that this page cannot be accessible even if a person knew the exact address of the page. So even if it was hidden and they knew that it was events.html, they wouldn't be able to access it. It's just not accessible. And this, there's lots of reasons why you might want to unpublish a page. Uh, maybe you're just working on a page and it's not ready yet to be shown live. Uh, or maybe it's just uh, a page that you only want on the site for a certain amount of time. And uh, maybe it's something you, a page you might reuse later, so you don't want to delete it and have to recreate it, so you just simply unpublish it. Now, I'll show you some advanced settings. And we may as well jump right here since we're talking about published. A really nice feature that Monix has is the ability to have a page live on the site only for a certain period of time. And in order to put a page on the site, you click this little um, calendar button and you can specify, okay, let's just say I only want it to run, maybe it's an event or sales promotion or a certain piece of information that's time sensitive. I click on the publish date and then I'm going to click on the unpublish date. So I want it to come off of the website, say on the 12th. And when I do that, it automatically puts in a time. You can actually specify within 15 minutes the exact time that you want to come on. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can set it to go on the site and come off the site at a certain time, and you don't even have to worry about it. The site does it itself. So whenever the clock rolls around at midnight, then it makes this page live. And then on the 12th, when it hits midnight, it takes the page off. So that's a nice feature to have is for different things like events or sales promotions. Container is another uh, setting that you may or may not see. Uh, it simply means are there pages below it? Is this a, is this a parent page that has sub-levels below it? And when you create uh, sub-levels, this automatically becomes checked or unchecked if you delete certain levels. So for the most part, you don't need to worry about this. Um, searchable, cacheable, empty cache, and deleted, content type, content disposition, and class key are all advanced settings. Uh, you probably won't see them on your in your installation, uh, depending on your user access level, but uh, they are available for more advanced purposes, and if, if, uh, if your site requires any of these, uh, then uh, we will be telling you about them and how to use them. But for the majority of the websites, they're not used and they're not needed. So that's a, a quick uh, summary. Now, rich text just means that it uses this editor. It's treating the content as HTML. If I uncheck it, it means it's raw text. Again, 95% of the time, this will be checked and you'll need it. So those are uh, the basic settings for a page.